Welcome to our channel, Youth on the Rock. Jesus is the Rock. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Are you still single and you are worried because you're getting old? and your biological clock is ticking? Well, that's a big problem, especially if you are a woman. That's the reason why single ladies are panicking because they don't want to miss the last boat. For some of them, looks are no longer important. It doesn't matter if they end up with just anybody, as long as they are not alone. The same thing with the single guys. These are the misconceptions of the young people today. They no longer value the biblical principle of praying for their future mate. Instead, they compromise. The mentality of Christians today is, So what? Who cares if they don't love Jesus? I will make them a believer. The most important thing for me is I'm going to be I'm not going to be alone. If it feels good, well, I should do it. If by chance you are a Christian and this is your point of view, please listen up. First of all, I'm not here to boss you around. I'm not here to tell you whom to date or marry. My point that I want to get across to you is this. Be cautious. There's a lot of broken marriages heartaches, disappointments, and pain simply because of wrong choices. If you are a young person, a single Christian person, I want to give you three godly principles that you can use on finding the right mate. The first thing is prayer. You cannot skip prayer. I remember there was a story in the Old Testament. In Genesis 24, I won't read you the whole chapter, but I will give you the gist of it. Abraham was old, and he asked his servant Eleazar to go to his family in Mesopotamia to find a wife for Isaac. To make a long story short, when Eleazar made it to Mesopotamia, he prayed to God like this. He said, Lord, God of my master, Abraham, Make me successful today and show kindness to my master Abraham. See, I am standing beside the spring, and the daughters of the townspeople are coming out to draw water. May it be that when I say to a young woman, Please let down your jar that I may have a drink, he and she says, Drink, and I'll water your camels too. Let her be the one you have chosen for your servant Isaac. By this, I will know that you have shown kindness to my master. Before he had finished praying, Rebekah came out with her jar on her shoulder. She was the daughter of Bethuel, son of Milcah, who was the wife of Abraham's brother Nahor. You see, when you pray, you are inviting God to lead you to the right person. So Eleazar got his answer from God while he was still praying. Number two, back up your prayer with action. I have noticed that Eleazar did not just pray. He did something to back up his prayer. He stayed there and stood by the well and waited for the daughters of the townspeople to come out to draw water. Let me say something to you, young people. There's nothing wrong about praying and waiting, but if you don't go out and mingle with the other single people from your church, there's a slim chance that you wouldn't be able to meet your possible spouse. I remember when I was a single, I prayed for eight and a half years for a godly mate. At the same time, I was a missionary. My team of missionaries traveled a lot. Until one day, I met my husband in the mission field. Because I trusted God, he led me to my spouse. 
and I am still married today after 23 years of marriage. So, once again, young people, I encourage you, go to church functions, fellowship with other singles from your church, and if you do this, there will be a chance you could meet your future spouse. Word of advice, I want to give you word of advice, don't go clubbing, hoping to find the one for you. Since people nowadays are also doing online dating and blind dates, please be careful so you won't end up with the wrong person. And number three, last but not the least, don't stop praying because you assumed that you already found the right person for you. Get to know the person better. Don't rush in. Take time to get acquainted with that person. When making a decision, don't just use your heart. I know it's so hard to make a decision, especially if you are head over heels in love with a person. But if you are not sure if the person is for you because you are seeing things in his or her life that's ungodly, break off with that person right away. Do not compromise. It is better to be hurt now than to marry the wrong person and spend the rest of your life in misery. And number two, start all over again. If it, if it happens to you, start all over again. Wait, pray, and wait for God to lead you to the right person. In closing, let me leave you with Psalm chapter 37, verse 4. In NIV version, take delight in the Lord and He will give you the desires of your heart. Right now, before we close, I would like to pray for you. Father God, thank you so much for your word that we have listened to earlier. We thank you, Father, for giving us an example to follow. Thank you, Father, for your word that if we obey you, you're going to take care of all our needs, Father God. Father God, thank you so much because you know what is best for us. Thank you, Father, for reminding us to put you first in our lives and to seek you first, your kingdom and your righteousness and all the things that we need, you will add it. You will add them to us, Father God. Lord, right now I'm praying for all the single people that are listening to me at this moment, especially those who are waiting and have been praying for a long time for a spouse. I pray, Father, that you provide a mate for them, Father. I know you said in your word in Genesis that it is not good for a man to be alone. I pray, Father, that you lead them to the right person. Show them that if they put their trust in you in this area of their lives, you will lead them to the right person that you had prepared for them. Father, thank you for your word of encouragement. Let your peace fill their anxious hearts. Help them, Father, to make the right choice concerning their future spouse. Help them not to compromise, but instead let them pray and ask for your guidance. For those single, Father, that are afraid of being alone, assure them that you are aware of their current situation and that you will take care of their needs. Let your peace that surpasses understanding be upon them for as long as they live. Thank you so much, Father, because I know that you already heard their prayer. We thank you, Father. We give you all the glory and honor. This we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today here in Youth on the Rock. Jesus is the Rock. In case you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please hit the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so you will get notification for my new videos. If you are struggling with something and if you need someone to talk to, please feel free to write them below. 
Thanks once again. See you again next week here on Youth on the Rock. Always remember, Jesus is the rock. Thank you so much and bye.